Kiss 105.3 and 1340. We're hip-hop and R&B lives today party. With your favorite DJ, DJ D-Soul. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... D-Soul, what the hell happened today? A lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we got to start off and talk about the album of the year. That is Travis Scott's Utopia. It dropped Friday. I had to listen to it a bunch of times. I'm probably on my fifth listen right now, y'all. The first listen, I'm like, okay, okay, let me kind of, okay... The second one, I get you now, Travis. I, I feel you now. The third one, I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> but y'all, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, the thing that I like most about it is he keeps pushing his sound forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't sound like Astro World, which is hard. Because Astro World was a great album, and he could have made something similar to that, and he did. Like, from the get-go, it's something different. It is heavily influence from Kanye West. A lot of people have been saying that this is Yeezus 2 or another Donda. That's what people have been saying, but uh, he's influenced by Kanye West a lot from production to even some of the ways that he flow on some songs are definitely Kanye West, but he looks to have the biggest hip hop album of the year by far. Uh, I'm seeing maybe like 400,000 units in the first week, so we'll see. But a uh, big shout out to Travis Scott. Y'all, I really, really enjoyed the album. Like I told you, it's all over the place. Uh, he got production from everybody. He got features from everybody. And uh, he put he got a lot of help to put together this project, and I'm rocking with it heavy. And I think it is the best hip hop album of this year. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Y'all, did I go too far? Or oh, am I right? <laughs> Let me know. Y'all, some other projects dropped Friday as well. The Mexican OT, he dropped a new project that I like a lot. Uh, the Lone Star Luchador, one time for that Mexican OT. He doing his thing straight up. He blowing up. Post Malone dropped a project that was just okay. I read it back twice. I'm like, that's all you doing now, Posty? Like, nobody was talking about the project. I just can't believe that he didn't fail that far. But, uh... He got one song with that called Spadomino that I like, but that's it. Let me see. Uh, Y'all, Bia, she dropped a new project. Offset and Cardi B dropped a single, but Offset, man, I'm going to tell you what. People ain't talking enough about that verse, but the name of the song is Jealousy. Offset is flowing on that thing, man. I got to give Offset credit. He doing his thing on that one song. And y'all just got to give a big shout out to Gucci, man. He dropped a new song called Wappenheimer. And he said his next single is going to be called Burby. One time for Gucci Mane. Straight up. He takes advantage of the moment, y'all. That's what he does. One time for Gucci. Y'all, Cardi B, she made it all up in the news, man. Uh, she threw two mics in the last week. She threw a mic at a DJ. The DJ was doing too much. He cut the music down, talking over. He was doing a lot. Cardi B got done with the performance. Threw the mic at the DJ, and then she was stepping out to perform, and somebody threw some water at her, and Cardi B threw the mic in the audience. The woman was quick. That woman ducked. I got to give her credit, and it hit somebody else. They said that Cardi B for to get sued for that. One thing I'm not understanding, Cardi B, what venues are you performing at? How are people able to get this close to you? Like the other one that she threw the deep... The mic at the DJ, she was in a little club. Like, I'm not understanding what's going on. Cardi B, you too big for these settings. And I'm not understanding what's going on with these audience members. Like, this is getting crazy. But y'all, in other news, Kid Cudi, he gave an album update. His new album, Insano, will drop September. And uh, Kid Cudi performed at Tomorrowland with Steve Aoki. And he performed his new single, Electro Wave Baby 2.0. And y'all, yo, Gotti, he's back. He's dropping a Gangsta Grill project this Friday. It's called I Showed You So. He last dropped CM10. Free game last year. Y'all, I can't name a song off of that thing. Come on, yo, guy. Get back to yourself. And y'all, last but not least, Donald Glover, he's set to write Lando. It's going to be on Disney Plus, and he's going to do it with his brother, Steve. And Donald Glover performed as Lando Calrissian in 2018 Star Wars prequel movie, Solo. And uh, Donald and his brother, they teamed up to write Atlanta and Guava Island. Yeah, that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow. Things will be a little bit different tomorrow. Y'all will see. But uh, check it out. It's your boy DJ D. Sora here. Kids on the 5.3, 1340.